Welcome to Help Your Math. And we will look at the example of calculating infusion time at this moment. So our problem is 120 milliliters of medication is started at 5 p.m. to infuse at the rate 42 milliliters per hour. So we need to find first infusion time and then completion time. So our solution is, first we need to work on finding infusion time, A, and we can use dimensional analysis, so x uh, hours, we will look at the hours first, so we will start with uh, 1 hour over 42 milliliters, so take a look, we are taking that from here, 42 milliliters over 1 hour ratio. Remember that we need to use hours in the numerator divided by 120 milliliters over 1. We can cancel milliliter and we can look what we have right now, 120 over 42. So we can reduce that. We can divide both sides by 6, 42 divided by 6, 7, 120 divided by 6, 20. So 20 over 7, not, cannot divide nicely, we need to perform long division. 20 divided by 7, so let's drop the decimal point in the end of 20, and we will fit 2 times 7 here, 2 times 7, 14. So minus 14, 20 minus 4 is 6, and we need to add extra 0, so 60, and we can fit 8 times, 7 times 8, 56, minus, so we have 40 right now, since we need to bring extra 0, and we can fit now 5 times, 5 times 7 is 35, subtract that. We have 5. Let's divide one more time. 50. So we will fit, we will fit here 7. It's times 7, right? 49. So as you see, we cannot divide evenly, so therefore we need to make our decision to stop here. That's usually enough. We have three decimal places after the decimal point. So we will round that. So we will have approximately 2.857, right? And from that point, we probably need to round a little bit more to the hundreds place, 2.86 hours. The problem here is that we cannot usually give the answer as hours using the decimal. We normally give the time as hours and minutes. So we need to do one extra step here. We need to convert the decimal part because this is actually less than one hour. We need to convert that into minutes. So we know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. That's why we will multiply that decimal only 0 0.86 by 60. So let's multiply. Notice we are not multiplying by zero. We will just bring it down later. We start to multiply by significant digits. Six. Six times six, 36. And we will carry three. So six times eight, 48. Plus three, 51. And don't forget to bring zero down. And after that, we will count two places from the right to the left. So we will have our time, 51.6 minutes, that we can round to actually 52 minutes, right? That's how much accuracy we need at this point. So therefore, we will say as a final answer that our infusion time for A will be 2 hours and 52 minutes. So let's put it here, 2 hours and 52 minutes. Then after that, the second question here is to find the completion time. So we 
want to look at what time the infusion started. It started at 5 p.m. We will do that in traditional time, 5 p.m. And we will add 2 hours and 52 minutes. So the total time will be 2, 5, and 7. So the completion. So the answer for this problem is 7 and 52 p.m. And this is our traditional time. So we will write here 7 and 52 p.m. Traditional time. And if you would like to know more how to convert it in military time, please watch our next videos.